Callum with uh, Jamie Peacock. I was just saying to Danny Maguire, you guys have been involved in some big games before, but I suppose you, you, you get the buzz every time you, you're involved in a match like this. Yeah, you do. Um, we didn't get to play in 2010, so it makes you extra hungry to come back here and play, and uh, we're, we're glad we're, hit, we're here after the season we've had. But you are there, and that's probably surprised everyone, isn't it? I suppose it's a great advert for Rugby League that you know you don't have to finish top of the pile to still have a chance of, of winning the grand final. Yeah, it's a good advocate for the playoffs, really, and um, you know we're pleased that we're here. Has it been a tough you know, road, if you will, to get to this stage? Yeah, you've seen the games we've had to play. We've had to play some very good opposition and uh, you know, to, to beat them. It's been tough for our side, but we're confident in what we can do um, this Saturday. I'm wondering with the club call system, though, does that give you guys in that Leeds dressing room extra motivation when someone's picking you out as the team to play? Yeah, it does. Um, you know, the, the, the motivation is to go out there and win, but that adds just that little bit extra to it. That's, you know, like the, the top into the ice cream, if you so to speak. So it's just that little bit extra more motivation. Was there a conversation about that then, going, all right, then you think we're the worst team, we'll show you? No, no, not really. I think the lads just all knew it. You just seen the look in people's eyes. St. Helens, clearly they're another side that probably haven't had as good a year as maybe in previous ones, but I think they've had injury problems and both of you have really dug deep to get to this stage. I think well, the Saints are the same as us, you know, realise, you know, we're, we're not the top two teams anymore and they've had very difficult, some very bad injuries and, um, you know, Roy Simmons has done a great job to coach them into third and then to go and get them to the grand final. But you're experienced players in those squads, I mean, there are some young guys as well, but you have that ability, don't you, to, to respond and dig deep when things get tough. Yeah, we, we know how to play well in um, you know big games and to tough it out you know in the tough periods of games. I think Saints have done that well and we have done that well over the past few weeks and they're the reasons why we're here. And the matches that people want to watch as well you know, on a stage like this here at Old Trafford? Yeah, they are, which is great stuff. Hopefully we'll have a full house on Saturday. What about their strengths then? Where would you uh, look at trying you know, to nullify them? They, you know, obviously look at James Graham and James Robey, particularly good players. And uh, you know the halves are playing very well this year. Um, and John Wilkin at the back to have been playing exceptional. Is it difficult though to, to kind of play to your level that you know, you know you can do and you expect to when you've had such a, a long hard season? Not only have you played a regular campaign, you've got these playoff matches on top of it and you've got England games as well coming up. No, it's not. You just, um, it's about mental toughness and being able to do these kind of things. And you know, if you can't go up for the final, then you shouldn't be playing. So what about preparations this week? Is it different to a regular game? Will you do anything different? Uh, obviously the chain will be a little bit tighter and um, we're going to camp on Friday night um, that's probably about it really Is that just to kind of shut off any distractions? No, I think just so the team's together we've done that every time we've played at Old Trafford and it seems to work for ourselves For Brian McDermott as well this is great that you've got to a final when people at early part of the season were maybe having a little niggle and writing him off because it takes time doesn't it, for a coach to implement his ideas Well it just shows a lot of people out there with opinions who don't really know and I think um, you know, it's, it's always... You know, you're not driven by um, what other people think. I think you're driven by your own um, ambitions and your own goals and settings that you set for yourself as a player and as a coach. But, you know, if people get a little bit of egg on the face as a byproduct of that, then so be it. Sounds like you are determined in this game. There's a real hunger in the lead squad. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we're, we're focused on what we want to do and we want to go out there and win. I suppose as well, you, you set the bar, don't you? But you've done so well in the last sort of five, six, seven years that you set the expectation level so high. Yeah, but, yourself. you know, we can raise it again. I'm sure we can raise it a little bit higher, so, yeah. And there's young guys coming through, they want a taste of this sort of thing as well for the first time. Um, yeah, they do, yeah. I mean, um, obviously it's very exciting for them and I'm sure they'll play very well for themselves.